Our next speaker is Donna Achmo. She is the CEO of the Translation Bureau at Public Works and Government Services of Canada. Donna is also chair of the Council of the Network of Official Languages Champions and chair of the Association of Professional Executives of the Public Service. Ms. Achimov is particularly interested in continuous improvement, finding new ways to serve clients, engaging the language industry, and developing official languages tools to help support persons with disabilities. All of these have a direct link with her professional interests, which are centered around official languages, language technology, and innovation. Welcome, Donna. Thank you, Grace, uh, for the kind introduction. Uh, thank you, Councillor uh, Wong Tam, for those uh, inspiring words. And thank you for OCCI for um, the invitation. I'm so pleased to be here to celebrate this incredible milestone. Je suis très contente d'être ici parmi vous parce que c'est vraiment une, uh, une défi très importante, pas seulement pour votre association, mais comme Councillor, Councillor Wong Tam a dit, pour uh, Canada et pour uh, le monde aussi de, 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 de voir Canada comme un pays, comme des leaders. So I'm very, very proud to be here. This is a major milestone in professionalization. I know that the idea has blossomed um, and it took a number of years of hard work, passion, conviction, things that come from the heart and from the soul, people who totally understand what it means to have a program that will make a difference in people's lives. So for me, it's an incredible pleasure to be here. I want to also recognize the 38 community interpreters who have been accredited and who are the pioneers in this program. And I want to encourage and continue the, the dynamic motivation of hopefully having another three to 500 of these accredited interpreters uh, by the end of 2016. It's an incredible accomplishment and wonderful news for the world and for the community of interpreting. As some of you know, the Translation Bureau has its own rigorous accreditation process for parliamentary, visual, and conference interpretation. We understand the importance of accreditation for consistent quality, service excellence, and also the risks that come with doing our jobs. We know that you truly understand at the community level the dynamics and those risks associated with interpretation. Canada is a multilingual and multicultural country with over 150 languages spoken in our major cities, such as Toronto. The need for community interpreters is great, particularly given our country's commitment to open our doors to people in need from around the world. For example, the Syrian refugees, and I'll come to that in a moment. Getting as many interpreters accredited as soon as possible to help professionalize the sector and help new Canadians adapt integrate and part of the fabric of Canada is certainly a noble profession. We know the road faces some challenges and um, we know that you're up to those challenges. We know that the cost for training is, is sometimes a barrier and that you're working very hard to try and mitigate that. There's also a need for emerging um, languages such as indigenous and aboriginal languages and rare language combinations that uh, call on interpreters special skills. The accreditation is challenging because interpreters may not easily be able to complete enough assignments to be considered for accreditation, especially in these niche areas. And I applaud you for looking at opportunities in terms of addressing those issues. As well, we're also seeing the emergence of, of, of additional pressures, such as multilingual sign language interpreters who would also assist in very demanding situations. But despite all these challenges, you've persevered and the accreditation program is launched, and that's a significant achievement. Community interpreters are an essential part of our language profession. They're high-level professionals doing a delicate job in difficult circumstances sometimes, and sometimes in life and death situations. Uh, my first professional association with community interpreters came when I was tasked with setting up 1-800-O-Canada, the Government of Canada's uh, call centre. We didn't have a talk time, it was meant to create the best first impression for Canadians and help Canadians find their way. Um, I made it a point to listen to calls on average uh, a few hours every single week and one of the things that struck me were the number of calls by young children who were trying to interpret for desperate family members. 
that's always a difficult situation. Children in Canada shouldn't be put in those situations. We had the ability to reach out to a talented team of community interpreters that really sat across the country. And for me, that opened the world of understanding about what we can do very easily with very simple technology to bridge some of the gaps that we're facing and to make a big difference in people's lives. So when I was invited to come here today, I really thought of those 1-800 Canada early days where I had the experience with the community interpreters and jumped at the opportunity. At the Translation Bureau, we often receive calls from government clients. As you know, we don't do community interpretation work, but we're very pleased to be able to help find the way and point our government clients in the right direction. And we're confident that when we recommend our clients to community interpreters, they will be served very well. Uh, with the work that OCCI and other stakeholders are doing towards accreditation, we will continue to be confident in the quality of our robust network across the country. I'll say a few more things, um, hopefully to inspire you as you move forward and hopefully to encourage you on your journey. Um, I mentioned the telephone in terms of being able to reach out, not maybe the best way of communicating, but technology is giving us more and more opportunities to perhaps connect some of you with your unique, unique talents and skills to be able to help people that may not be right around the corner from us. So I would encourage you, and if I leave you with one message, it is to think about how do we leverage our technology today to be able to expand our reach and our professionalism. Um, at the Translation Bureau, we are looking at technology, not only as a way of bridging the divide, reducing costs, but also allowing people with disabilities to participate in ways that they couldn't before. In closing, I just would like to also say that um, interpreters made a wonderful first impression with their brand new Prime Minister. The nouveau gouvernement fédéral a donné au bureau de la traduction l'occasion de faire valoir ses interprètes sur la scène internationale. So one of the first international meetings, the G20 uh, in Turkey, followed by APEC in Manila. The Prime Minister was accompanied by talented teams of interpreters few from the Bureau, but most of them coming from the private sector. They were seamless, they went together as a team, and they made the best first impression in terms of the profession. And I encourage that type of uh, teamwork, that type of collaboration, and the fact that we are making a difference. With regards to the Syrian refugees that are coming, this is also another opportunity for us to educate and to welcome new people, but also to leverage the skills of the community interpreters. We know that community interpreting will play a vital role as we move forward in welcoming our, um, our Syrian refugees. And we know that this will take uh, a lot of training, a lot of patience, and a lot of compassion. But we know we're, you're up to the challenge. We estimate the number of Arabic and Kurdish interpreters needed is close to 500. And we know that's a huge challenge. We have to learn from this session of welcoming, and we have to learn from other sessions of welcoming as well and we have to figure out flexible, easy ways in terms of meeting future demands. We'll call for volunteers, and that will likely require some additional training and facilitation to help us meet the growing needs. We believe that the accredited community interpreters can assist in many of these circumstances, and we are willing to support the Government of Canada reaching out and leveraging the talent of many of you, of you who are sitting in this room and your colleagues and your associates across the country. Je rappelle que le bureau de traduction appuie entre, entre, entre entièrement l'initiative lancée aujourd'hui. Professionalization of language services is always a big thing. All the work done and that work yet to come is something you all need to be proud of. So on behalf of um, my entire team and the Government of Canada, we'd like to say thank you very much. Congratulations for the hard work.